All right, let's do this. I want the freedom in my voice. Hi there, hi there. Strategy, tragedy, strategy, tragedy. No, no, no. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. Hi there, Carrie here, your American accent coach, and I'm here to help you develop your English speaking voice, add to your language identity, and that way help you make English your own. So let's go. So today we're going to focus on one of the trickiest sounds in all of the American pronunciation, the T sound. Thing is, it's a bit of a chameleon, meaning it'll change its colors depending on what's surrounding it. And there are exactly five colors to it. Knowing what they are and how to produce them will help you change the way you talk for the better. Your speech will become smoother, clearer, and easier to follow, and natural, and we want natural. So the first color is the original color, the alphabetic color, what you find in the actual alphabet, P-Q-R-S-T-U-V, T, 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 T. Now, how do we produce that? Let's talk about what helps us make the sound happen. That is the tip of your tongue, mm, and that is the so-called alveolar ridge that is right behind your upper teeth. You could feel it with your finger once you've sanitized it, and it's going to be all the way up here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ta, 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 ta. So you're trying to reach for your teeth. Make sure it's super loose, you're not making it super firm. Ta, ta, ta. But it's very airy and you let that air flow right out of your mouth so there's got to be enough space for it. So make sure that it's more like a tap rather than really hitting it super hard and super close. Ta, ta, ta. Time. Tango. Took. Tea. Super light. A couple of word pairs for you. Tell me. Took it. Some tea. More time. Now this kind of production generally happens at the beginning of the word. But what do we do when it's at the end of the word? That takes us to the second color, that is the held tea color. Now why is it held? Because instead of releasing the air, Ta, 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 ta. Once you've gotten to the sound at the end of the word or right before a consonant within a longer word, you're going to not release the air. You're going to place the tip of your tongue onto the same spot, spot, but you're not going to let the air get out. So instead of, that's great, oftentimes you'll hear people say, that's great. Your vocal cords are also kind of involved in this production. You're going to have your vocal cords pressed together a little bit, but not too much. And it's going to go like this. Out. Out. Right. Right. Try it for me. I said everybody out! Everybody out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Now let's do a couple short phrases. We often hear it in the phrase that contains the word can't. Right? So instead of can't, you're going to go, I can't, I can't, but they're still the same placement. And there's this kind of grip in your vocal cords area. I can't, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. I can't do one of these tearful things till five o'clock in the morning tonight. I, I just can't. Not tonight. And then this is great. This is excellent. You're so right. Now, it really happens a lot when the T in question is followed with a word that starts with a consonant, or there's a longer word and T is followed with a consonant. So for instance, sweatshirt, sweatshirt. You got two non-released held Ts there. Sweatshirt, football, nightmare, Butler. And then there's some short phrases. It was. It was great. Not it was, but it was. I'm at work. At work. 
So, vocal cords, same placement, don't let the air out. Third color is very much similar to the second one. It's pretty much based off of it. We're gonna call it the Manhattan Tea or the Glottal color. Let me explain why. What's gonna happen is you're going to apply the second principle first. You do not let the air flow all the way out, right? You stop it mid-flow. So once you have found that non-released held T that we were practicing as part of the previous color, you're going to move on to the N sound, right? And that glottal kind of stop effect is very much prominent and very much noticeable when the T is followed with the N sound. So it's got a very particular acoustic quality to it. So Manhattan, Manhattan, Atten. Uh -uh. So the air stops right in there and this, the vocal cords coming together and coming apart and stopping the airflow from traveling freely is very much part of the production, right? So it's Manhattan, Manhattan. It's almost like you want to say it, you want to let it flow, but you can't. That mm, you can find that. That's where the glottis helps you. Mm. And then you land onto the end. Manhattan. Another Manhattan? Oh, please, for all of us. That night, Miranda was determined to drink in as much Manhattan as she could. Kitten. Mountain. Cotton. Satin. Button. Certain. Forgotten. Frightened. T, Gladys, moving on to the end. Now let's try a couple of sentences. Sentence is one of those words, actually. Sentence, sentence. I'd rather go to Manhattan than spend a day in the mountains. Second and third principle together. Cute kitten. Cute, second principle. Kitten. Third principle. Now, the fourth color is probably the easiest to do because it basically is the tealess color. Now, what happens is, in a lot of words, whenever you're looking at the combination N T, T is simply not being pronounced. So, in words like international, the T is practically, technically not there. International is not impossible, but it's a lot more work. International. International, Sacramento, Accountable. That was so disappointing. New York is so international. We have plenty of time. Now, the last color is probably the most important as far as the American pronunciation is concerned because it's omnipresent. It's basically everywhere. It's the so-called fast D sound. Not only does it become a voice sound where you feel a vibration here in your voice box, d -d -d is voiced, whereas t -t -t is voiceless. What's also going to happen is you're going to go fast about producing it. So instead of just going water, right, you're going to go fast and it's going to turn it into more of a tap rather than a full-on d sound. So it'll turn into water, water. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have a bottle of water. Okay. A bottle of water. For you yeah, guys. yeah, yeah. What, America, yeah, yeah, America, yeah. He's translating. Water in England, yeah. But water. maybe it was in, could have been imported. Could, could, be, be. could be water, but now it's water. Once you, like that particular portion of the word, the t is going to be fast compared to what precedes it and what follows it. War, er, those are paste as usual, but what it's almost like the kind of noise you would make while shivering somewhere, you know, in cold winter. So if you move it further in, it, it'll turn into more of a ra, ra, ra. If you leave it closer to the uh, the teeth, it'll be more of a da, da, da. You gotta go fast about it. That's what's gonna get you the water sound. Waiting, waiting waiting. You may be wondering, when do I produce that? So whenever you got T stuck in between two vowels, whether it be in a sentence or in a phrase or in one and the same word. So city, better, 
bitter, butter, total, meeting, quality. And the same goes for phrases where you got two separate words, but the T is stuck in between two vowels. It is. Wait a minute. Wait a, wait a minute. Get up. Time to get up. Get up, stand up. Stand up for your right. And then, of course, we got the bonus sound. Now, whenever you got the TR combination, like in the words travel or train, you might notice that it's very, very similar to the CH sound because it's followed with the R, which is closer to the middle of your palate, that is, this portion of your mouth. So, you could experiment with that and take it closer to the middle and make it more of a CH-like sound, CH-colored sound. Travel. 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 Try. Try. That's all for today, folks. Thank you for watching. And remember, consistency is the only way towards fluency and that comfort, sense of comfort whilst producing the new versions of the same sound. Practice on a daily basis. And whenever you do, don't forget to leave a comment right below saying, I've spilled the tea. Now, don't forget to subscribe and click on to the bell thingy to the right of the word subscribe so that you'll never ever miss the videos that we post on here. Now, I'll see you next week. Have a great one or great one. Have a great one.